if you create a new application and use the Redwood Starter template for your application, you will notice that one of the things that is not built into this template is handling of the file notification event in Visual Builder. As an example, let's go over to this main page that is created by default. And we'll add a button over here. And in this button, we'll create an action chain. And in this action chain, we're going to fire a notification with some information about a message that we want to display. So now that we have this info message, we can go back to the design view, switch to live and click the button. And you'll notice that nothing happens. We don't actually see the notification. And the reason is because in this template application, the shell page is quite uh, minimal. There isn't, for example, a component to handle messages. In the new jet stack, there's a component called message ba banner that is used to showing those types of messages. So let's take and add a message banner to our application into the shell page. Now, the message is requiring some data about which messages to show. If you look at the documentation for the OJ message banner, at the end, you will see the type definition with the specific fields that are used by this component. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating a new type. This would be a custom type for a message. And in this new type, we're going to define various fields that map to the attributes that the message banner is expecting to get for a message. So those include the summary, the detail of the message, the severity of the message, and the property called close affordance, which is basically whether this message should be able to be closed. And don't forget to add an ID field because we want to be able to distinct between various messages in our array. Now that we have the type, we can go over and create an ADP, an array data provider, for managing those messages. So we'll create this new variable of type ADP. And the item type would be message and the key attribute would be the ID. All right, so now that we have this ADP, we can go back to our shell page visual designer and assign the data for the message banner to be mapped to this ADP. So the next thing we need to do is populate this ADP with messages. To do that, in the shell page, you'll notice there's a new event called VB notification. And we're going to add an action chain to this VB notification event to handle cases where a notification is raised somewhere in the application. Now, over here, we need to populate and add things to the ADP. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of JavaScript code. We're going to go back to the Java cookbook uh, for a shortcut just to copy um, how one of those messages looks like. I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go over to the code view over here. I'm just going to define a new variable. So I'm going to use the let, uh, create uh, the my message variable, and I'm going to assign to it um, the structure that we copied from the JET cookbook. And uh, let's reformat this. Now, instead of having fixed values, of course, we want to hand get information from the event that was raised. And using the code insight over here, I can just type E for event, hit the dot and get the various properties that I get over on the event. So the key is going to be used as the ID. The type is going to be the severity. The summary is going to be the summary. And the detail is actually called in the event. Um, if we scroll up a little bit, it's called the message. Okay, so pick up the message and you got everything set up. For the close affordance, we are always going to allow closing, so we're going to turn it over to on. So now we basically created a variable in the action chain, assigned to it a value coming from the event. And what we can do now is we can call a fire data event and basically pick up our ADP and use an add event over here where we would pass in in the data the variable we just created in the action chain, the my message.
So this would add a new message into the ADP and this would show it up. So now if we go back to our page, we hit the button, the message shows up. And one thing that would still not work is this close icon because you can actually handle this in a specific way. Okay, so we're going to just make a very simple handling here. We're going to go to the message banner. There's an event on the message banner that we can define. The event is OJ close. Okay, and we're going to create a new action chain to handle closing a message. So closing a message would basically be removing it from the message ADP. So we're going to again use a fire data provider event and map it to the message ADP. Now, for this event, we need a payload, which would be the event details. Okay, so we're going to define a new parameter for the action chain of type any. We're going to call it event detail. And then if we go over to the event listener for closing, okay, over here, we can map a value to it. Now Visual Builder actually shows us the event detail as something we can just drag and drop over here and assign it to this new variable to our action. So now in our action, okay, we can use the remove uh, event on the ADP. And in the keys, we're going to pass in the event detail dot key, which is the key of the message that is being closed. And one thing to note, this is supposed to be an array. So um, what we're going to do here in the code view is just surround this with square brackets to indicate this is actually an array of one record. All right, and that's basically it. If we go back to the main page, click the button, we get the message, and now we can close it. Just to show you that this works perfectly fine, we can go back to the button and into the action chain, and we can add another file notification. We're going to add a different notification this time with a different type of um, a different type of notification type. Okay, we'll do a warning. So you would see it in different colors. Now, if we go over back to live mode, click the button, we get the two notification. We can click on them and close them.